Hey guys, this is the Swiss Lazy Chef. Welcome back. And today we're not going to talk about any new recipe. We're going to talk about a fundamental of cooking. Since 30 years I'm in the kitchen. I have been learning this well, three years in the apprenticeship and after that I was practicing it. And what you learn in the beginning of an apprentice ship is oh you need to have pans for everything you need a small saucepan you need a big flat pan for doing the meat you need a brassiere you need a big pan to cook a lot of water for making for example pasta or rice and over the last 20 years i realized you don't need that much of a not not that many pans and in the last let's say six seven years i realized I most of the time use only one pan. And why one pan? Why is that good one pan? You have less cleaning, so less to, to use time for cleaning up everything. You don't have to think too much. I'd like to introduce you to this, uh, this one pan that is my absolute favorite since, since years. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make some advertising here, but this is a pan from Ikea and and I found that this pan is just the most the best the most flexible and versatile pan that I know and I'm gonna explain it to you uh, why this pan is so great and why do I do this video today it's because I just got my new pan yes I do replace pans for me, there are some people who are saying, okay, you need to buy a very expensive pan. You're gonna keep it forever, ever, ever. And I'm thinking, why? Why do you have to keep a pan forever? Especially when it comes to Teflon, to that material that doesn't stick, that's not gonna make, it's not made for lasting forever. And isn't it nice if every couple of months or maybe every half a year, you can buy yourself a new pan and start from scratch. So what I found that for me, the duration where I can keep this pan from Ikea, it will last for around half a year. So since it only lasts around half a year, I'm replacing this more or less in that time. Uh, it's recommended to just buy a new one in Ikea and they're not so expensive. The good thing is if you buy yourself a set that costs three, four, five, six hundred euros, then you don't want to break anything, you're so careful. But when it comes to Teflon, like this, like this one, this pan is made of, uh, of a Teflon surface, then it will break at some point anyway. Maybe because of too much heat. If you use, for example, induction, then it can be that the heat is too much. You walk away, the water is reducing, and suddenly there's no water inside, and the pan overheats and it breaks. Or you use maybe a fork to scratch. So in that, in that moment, you don't want to bother yourself with with the the hassle of of uh, you know oh, i paid 500 euros for this pan oh my god now it's broken no you don't want that so my recommendation is buy a good quality a decent quality of a teflon pan that you can replace after a while why do you recommend the teflon pan teflon pan because it doesn't stick it's very easy to clean, you hardly need any effort. What you're gonna do if you wanna clean it, you just put a little bit of soap and you hardly need to use a sponge to clean it and it's already clean. It's so easy to clean, it hardly sticks and you can do almost everything with it. So let's talk quickly about which pan I actually use. It is, as I said, from Ikea. And I would not recommend any pan or would make any advertisement if it would not really be a good recommendation. So this pan has a 32 centimeters diameter. It has a very strong handle, it never breaks. And it has on the other side also another handle. So it's actually not a pan, it's actually a wok. They sell it as a wok. So I'm very happy to open it now because I've been waiting now for a couple of months for a new one. Well, actually, just bought the last one half a year ago, and now it's time for another one. So, this, the surface area, this area here, just perfect for family. Three people, four people. If you have meat, it just does fit. If you want to cook, for example, pasta, you just add water to this height. You cook the water inside here. And then 
it's easier with this handle to carry it to the sink to drain the water. One good thing if you're cooking or actually if you are doing meat, if you're frying meat or if you're frying something that usually has all this from the oil, uh, the spills that falls flies away. The good thing is if you have a very high wall is that the mess in the kitchen is actually much, much reduced. You almost have no mess because if you have here, down here, a piece of meat, all the oil doesn't spill outside. So the advantage of a high wall compared to a low wall frying pan is very evident, very easy to understand. That's why I like this, it's very versatile. So you can cook water and cook everything in the water that you need. It's easy to transport to the sink. On the other hand, if you have something to fry, you can use it here in the, back, in the bottom. So with all those advantages of that pan that you can use it in a versatile way, with all those advantages, you can start to understand slowly the idea of being a lazy chef. I'm using only, normally I'm using only one pan, one single pan. And now the question is, how are you going to use this pan in order to, yeah, to cook fast still and don't make too much mess in the kitchen, but still being effective? The idea is very simple. The question is always, what, with what do you start? And that will be part of another video. Which dish do you do, do you do the first? Which dish are you going to do second? Which dish are you going to do third? As a very easy little idea before I'm going to do that video, I'm always first cooking the pasta, the rice, the potatoes in the water here, because these are things that take long and I keep them warm afterwards. I keep, I keep them in the oven very easily to keep them warm and ready for dinner. And then in the last 20 minutes, 10 minutes, I'm going to do the aluminum dishes. For example, a piece of fish or a piece of meat or some chicken, anything that doesn't take that much time. The sauce, I sometimes do it also before, and maybe sometimes I'm using another pan for the sauce, but most of the time when I'm done with the fish or the meat or the chicken or whatever, then I'm using the same pan again and take the meat out, use the same pan to finish the sauce in it. And like that, you have one dish after the next dish after the next dish in the same pan. So, as a summary, this is my recommendation. Go to IKEA, buy the 32 centimeter diameter wok from IKEA, throw it away after half a year because it will be broken, maybe, maybe even only after three months, doesn't matter. But you can always restart with a new pan, have a good feeling about it, and don't feel bad if you break it, because that is something that for me personally annoyed, annoyed me the most. I had, I had best equipment and you, I took so good care of it and then someone else took it, touched it and bam, it got a scratch in it. And that was always quite annoying. So with this pan and the, idea that, the ideas that I gave you, you can actually reduce a lot your inner stress. You can uh, look forward every couple of months to get a new pan. You can cook very versatile with this pan and you can become also a lazy chef. Thanks for watching.